Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm at the Stockholm Transport Museum today. And if you want to see a tour around the museum, have a look at my other video I've made here. This is a little bit of a bonus video and possibly the start of something new. If you look down there, there's a metro train, but look in front. That is a miniature railway. So here we are in Europe and we found a miniature railway. I have been to miniature railways in Europe in the past, but you may know I have my miniature railway Britain series where we go and visit miniature railways all around Britain and the aim is to visit all of them eventually um, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the future but I thought as soon as I'm here and there's a miniature railway let's start off miniature railway Europe I nearly started it um, in Lucerne when I was there at Christmas um, I made a video on a miniature railway there but because there was music playing in the background I didn't actually do any talking like this um, because any point you know you can get into trouble with YouTube and music but here we are, we're here, there is no music, so let's start this. So it'll be an occasional series, it won't be as regular as Miniature Railway Britain, it'll just be if I happen to be somewhere in Europe, and there is a Miniature Railway, like there appears to be here. Also, the other unique thing about this one so far, well, I think it's completely unique, it's certainly the first one I've ever been to, it's an indoor Miniature Railway. Um, obviously you get Miniature Railways that go through tunnels, they might start under roofs and everything, but you, I've never seen an actual indoor Miniature Railway. It's even funny that this indoor miniature railway has a tunnel, it appears. Because we have a look here, look. Red light, tunnel, and here. Look at that, that is the cutest little metro train I've ever seen. So it looks like we're going to be having a ride on that. So the train runs on the half hour. What I'm going to do, let's go and buy a ticket, and then soon I think it'll be our chance to go for a ride on this funny little metro train. So here we are, I have bought my ticket. We're gonna go for a ride on, well I said it's gotta be the cutest metro train I've ever seen. Certainly the smallest metro train I've ever seen. I think the track is seven and a quarter inches. Beyond the station, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, we'll see where it goes in that direction. But it's funny to think that we're completely indoors, so there's no um, only running in, you know, weather permitting, which quite a lot of railways are, none of that. We're going to have a ride. We're going to go for a ride through the museum on, like I say, I think it has to be the smallest metro. Although that said, I've not been there, I've not made a video on it yet. The London Transport Museum Depot at Acton, that has a miniature railway, and that has a very much London Transport themed metro with um, miniature trains. So perhaps we'll have to go and do that at some point in the future. But today we're going to ride Stockholm's smallest metro train. Here we are, sat on the train, my ticket's been clipped. I'm really excited about going into the tunnel in this indoor metro <laughs> miniature railway.
I've just had a really enjoyable ride on this little railway. It's quite interesting to see how it works. I've noticed the driver, the gentleman there, he drives it, but he doesn't actually travel on it. He walks around, so you know, a bit like you get remote control trains. It's a bit like that. I suppose that means then all the spaces are available for passengers because you know it's quite a short train. Um, I just think it's really, it's a really cool little system. It's just something different to, you know, what I've seen before. So you can see there's a somewhere else, another passenger there. The door sides are put up, and then the train will go off on its journey. I think it's waiting for a few more passengers. Yeah, so you can see now the drivers. I suppose we can call them doors in the sides. I mean, when, it, when there's not many passengers, as there isn't now, it just looks like a rather large model train. So I think what will happen, the light would turn green and the train will go. So that, that's what happened to us. Although there's no points on this line, so there's no chance of actually seeing another train, but, you know, it's all part of the fun, so the light should go green any moment now. There we go. There goes the train. So as I said, the driver, there he goes, he follows the train on foot. Shall we follow it as well and we'll see it come back? I noticed one thing I thought was quite cool is that here in the tunnel, if we're quick enough, there's like the flashes like it's arcing, you know, like you'll get on the metro train. So you just really like things like this. Just something, you know, when you get a miniature railway, it's just different to your usual one. Any miniature railway for me is good. You know, I spend most of my free time visiting miniature railways. But I just like it when I come across one that is just different from your average one. I wish we could have something like this in England. I think the problem we always tend to find in England is we're not very good with unless it's fenced off. And you know, here, it just runs through the middle of the museum, which I find quite amusing. You've got a cafe there, and you've got like well, a full-size version of what we've just seen. So the end station is just there. Um, the driver's getting ready to bring the train back. So we'll see the train pass again. Here we go, here it comes. So we've got big and little Stockholm Metro. It's really quite exciting. It's brilliant. So, as the train disappears, I'll probably do a bit more line side and get a couple more line side shots. As I said, if you want to see the rest of the museum, that's going to be on a separate video.